looking through research to see what I would do after the MC reader and not really finding a whole, whole lot. Really? I mean, the PWT cannon, sure, maybe. That's the, uh, the craft weapon that unlocks the PWT defenses, which is a really cool thing, but... Will I really need that? I mean, I already did base defenses. I mean, <laughs> it's like, what are the chances of it happening again? Come on. But I think, I don't know. I mean, pretty much as soon as the MC reader is done, we've already got a bunch of them. We have 10, I think. Yeah, 10 of them. So we can, pretty much when that's done, just go straight for an alien base and hopefully get our lobster men, research them, learn how to do the final craft, learn about the final mission, and then go for it. So we're actually, we're almost done. I think I'm okay to just take it easy this month. I think we're Guaranteed to have positive pretty much. Iron Armor at Asia is done. Okay. I guess medkits. I think I've done enough this month already that we're pretty much guaranteed to have positive. So I can just kind of sit back and let do... Let do research? Let research do its thing. And we'll still have a positive month. And then I could take next month off because we have yet to have a negative month. So I could do, well, maybe I did like a while ago, but um, you need to have two in a row. So um, we're, we're okay just kind of sit back and do some research, but there's the MCU Raider. Allows you to see their stats, their ranking, their name, which is their ranking in this game. And uh, just one last quick look through. Not, not much that's really useful. A lot of it's just lore text. So yeah, I guess just the PWT cannon and um Great. We can make the MC reader, which I think is just one ZR byte, maybe two. Yeah, just one. They're expensive, but only one ZR byte. And we'll throw those on the Triton. We'll go with USA because I think they're probably the Well, they're the most ready nowadays simply because they, um, well, their base defense is really easy. Mm. We need a lot more ammo than that. We're going to be bombing the shit out of these aliens. Yeah, let's bring it all. Thermal shock bombs, probably just fucking all of it. Why not? Pulsars, MC readers. Now, ordinarily, you have the 80 item limit on the Triton. On any ship, really. So when you're doing a base defense outside of open XCOM, or if you have the item limit enforced through open XCOM's options, you would ordinarily not really be bringing many tasers or med kits or flares, maybe just a few to get by, no matter what alien bases are dark. They're just, they're so deep underwater. That's just how it is. Um, tasers, yeah, maybe a couple, but probably not really any. Med kits, yeah, a few of them. Sonic cannons, yeah, but you'd only bring a little bit of ammo. Um, two of them are going to be Disruptor Pulse Launchers, probably have a couple people dedicated to just the Stun Launchers. So, you know, there's a couple Stun Launcher guys and enough ammo for them both. And the two DPLs, yeah, and then just several shots for that, and you just kind of pick up gear as you go. It's manageable. It's not, whoa, it's not super duper easy. At all. But it's manageable, and there's stuff you can do, and you just kind of have to... Just kind of roll with it, but uh, I don't ha I don't have the item limit, so I can just kind of go nuts like this and, and bring just absolute ludicrous amounts of stuff. And if we get a uh, disruptor pulse launcher at our front door and blow all the stuff up, I'm gonna cry. Okay, I think that's I think that's pretty good. Definitely enough ammo to really do some damage. And I only need two because I'm only gonna have. Probably just one guy for a while, but eventually stand two people at the doorway and just shoot out of the ship like that. And armor should be okay. We don't have any magnetic. That's fine, though. 
All right, we're... Oh, goodness, I'll leave uh, during the day. Let's head up to that base just for funsies. It's a quote-unquote Gilman base, but, um, well, it's going to be the same alien loadout regardless. And we're there during day, but again, doesn't really matter. There's nothing you can really do to make these easier for you. They're, they are all terrible. The first guy, because on the ship, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then 13, 14, and then you've got the driver's seat type thing. So soldiers one and three are at the front door. So let's go soldier one, two, three, four, and necro. You guys are disorder pulse launchers. Can I, uh... Oh. Okay, apparently shift is... Oh, shift is backward. Oh, okay. Control click then? Yeah, control click. Awesome. Nice. Okay, so there you go. There's that. And uh, for the most part, leave it all on the ground for Krug. But Necro will load you up with some. It's just to save you a little bit of effort. There you go. Cool. And everybody else, standard thing. Don't need these yet, don't need those yet, don't need the tasers really. I forgot to equip up more tasers, oh well. Um, for the most part, flares. Flares and ammo. Awkward. We're in like, the top corner. Have I ever started up here before? Normally you start on the, um the bottom corners and the bottom left corner is my favorite because you've got easy access to a long hallway that leads into the room that you're after so if you're muling stuff it's cool if you're going for a full clear it's a little more annoying this time around we're gonna pretty much have to go for a full clear that's just way too much to mule but that's fine huh let's open the door just to peek okay yeah there's a door right there huh I know I shouldn't, but... And the final rooms... Should be around this area. Yeah, there it is. Is it? No. It's somewhere around there. Huh. Interesting. But they've got a shitty little... Half wall there too, huh? Okay. Interesting. I think I'm going to start off. Just blow the ass out of whatever the hell that room is. That was awesome. Okay, let's unturn. No idea what to expect, never done this on uh, Open XCOM. This is actually a totally blind Open XCOM Terror from the Deep playthrough, really. All of this is new to me, if that wasn't already obvious, so... As far as aliens moving and all that jazz go, and where they start and how they act, I don't know what to expect. Try to take out some tacklets when I can. Thank you, somebody hit him. Nice. Okay. And Krug, reload from the ground, cannot fire, right? Oh, you can. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, that's the hallway that feeds into the main room. This main room 
historically, I always breach from the top and just drill in. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the funnel room right here. Man, this is a cool spot to start. This is not bad. This is even better, actually, than the uh, bottom left corner. Uh, that's the final room, though. That's where you uh, you get everybody onto there. But on the second story is a balcony that wraps around completely. And uh, elevators are in the corners of this room. Might even be able to f find one. Yeah, I think that's one there. Because the, the weird thrombing, those things. Um, something like that. Um, elevators in the corners, the balcony surrounding, and they're just looking down and... It's awful to go into, so I just, uh, you know, blow it up. <laughs> Easy as that, huh? There you go, just right down through the roof. Terrifying. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of squishy things there. I think a hallucinate and maybe a couple tentaculates. Ugh. It's a salt soldier already going berserk. <laughs> yeah. XCOM's here, motherfuckers. <laughs> I ain't playing around. I want this shit done with. I came here for Lobsterman. Uh, let's have you kneel, aim shut. We can shoot over your head, I think. I think. Actually, God, can I? Yeah, okay, I can. Cool. But can I actually hit? That's a different question. Looking like no. Okay. Holy shit, guys. Okay, get down. Get down. Shooting over a lot of heads to get this thing. Thank you, Eclotix. Okay, cool. <sighs> so we broke in. There we go. Second story. Head for that corner. If not, whip around. Just kind of follow the balcony across. Do a crazy zigzag thing. If there's literally nothing up there, then, uh, well, I don't just crash somewhere. That might have been the guardrail, I guess. The the half wall thing that they stand behind on that balcony. Every one of those explodes in quotes. I don't think it actually does very much damage when it does that. But I think that's what all that was. We blew that up on the south corner, so I think I'll blow the next one up toward the north corner. It's like right there, so. Eh, you know what? Just for funsies. Whip around a bit. Seems generally clear. I did that just to see if there was any aliens hanging out up there, because obviously if there's an alien in this thing's path, it's going to just blow up on them. Okay. Why are you broken? Why are you broken? Oh, a missed shot, probably. Okay, we got that busted open, too, which is kind of cool. Um, can have your gun back. Sorry, but thanks. Oh, damn it. This one really throws me off having it over there. <laughs> no, the other one. Oh, my God. Okay, cool. <laughs> you stand up. Get a flare ready. Get a flare ready. Ha! Huh. 
Hi. Ow, and then you drill me, you asshole. Don't shoot that. Kill. Kill the sectoid. Thank you. Oh my god, that could have been so horrible. Um, so you're under control. Uh, I think we're actually okay. Yeah, Tassoth opened up the door and I think the sectoid then had a uh, line of sight and uh, did his whole shebang. Yeah, cool. You, you hit it with a flare. Well done. Uh, do I need to worry about that guy? I don't think so. Just to be safe. I forgot to launch it. And you shouldn't be under alien control anymore. Right. I was gonna launch and just blow up everything over there. I suppose it's good that I didn't, because then that would have really ruined line of sight for a lot of stuff. Okay, cool. You are okay now. Yeah, cool. Hi, Howard Hughes. Your, um, your MC resistance is really awful, by the way. One attempt to get you to lose control is, um, well, that's, that's Sijin levels of bad, and he's terrifyingly bad, so, obviously. Did you find it? Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. It's behind the ship. Behind the ship? There's barely any room back there. Wow, what a dick. Okay. I wanted to get a flare. Up to there. Krug. Awesome. I thought for sure that sector was gonna say fuck it and um just DPL the uh, the Triton. That would have sucked so hard. We would have lost everything. The Triton. The squad, the gear, we only have one soldier left at USA. We brought like everything with us. Oh god, I'd have been so upset. Okay, he's still hanging out over there. Uh, I need a little more space. Um. I mean, if I move you out like this, we could have Sajin fly up high. You knocked it out. Get on. Okay, you're in the way now. So we need to scoot, scoot, scoot. Where to? Okay.
Notice I can just kind of click through that. I did not know that. I'm betting it's still over there. I just don't see it. Lost? <laughs> Poor guy. Okay. Maybe? I mean, let's get you back on the ship. You gotta step out a little more. Alright, so definitely snapshot. Not a lot of fire. Stepped up to there, maybe? Yeah. Should be okay. Just enough. Super afraid to move out because, um, it's bad enough with the mind control and tentaculates everywhere, but there's also disruptive pulse launchers everywhere, too. They are, um, they're not rare on this map. At all. That one needs to be blown up still. Blow that up. Ideally get the sectoid dead too. Should I DPL that area? I guess it wouldn't hurt. I don't know where the sectoid is anymore. Tentaculate's still out there probably. He is. Okay, not enough time needs to shoot that, so. Okay, it's being blocked by that. Annoying. Knocked it out. God. Okay. Can we prime this? Get you ready with that. We'll huck it on over to the uh, the dead hallucinoid or the unconscious hallucinoid over there to kill it. That'll hurt the morale even more. Good shot. So Jen will do it. it. There's a lot of aliens in this mission. And apparently a lot of you guys too. Never used to be so many of them.
Johnny Z. Primate, can you still throw it? Yeah. Tell her to the exile, exile. Can you? Perfect. Get that tentacular dead. There might still be one over there. Could be that guy. Or Talon. Okay, Sajin. Can you throw flare? We okay up here? Sorta. Yeah, let's not do that. Aha. Let's go ahead and take care of you first. Just in case it missed, somehow it had plenty of uh, white points to try to autocorrect. Why I did that. And, um, alright. We'll handle that to south next turn. I kind of want to just drop a bomb back there, just on the ground level and take everything out that's um, panicked and ran out there. For the most part, I think we're somewhat okay to head out. I think everybody's pretty much panicking at this point. As long as the tentaculates are taken care of, we should be okay to move on. Should be. Let's move. The few. Over to here. Sectoid? I don't have 10 minutes anymore. Far enough away from the ship. Should be okay. Yeah. Ship's pretty sturdy. The walls are not um, weak. Though I have blown the ass out of the cockpit before where it's just like completely ripped open. <laughs> it looks kind of funny. 